Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my empties from September. I have quite a few things in here I'm really excited to show you guys. And actually I just wanted to say real quick, um, I am wearing this lipstick from Revlon. It's the Matte Balm Lipstick in the shade Standout. Just like a really beautiful red color. It's in my Fall For You project, which is on my Instagram. Go follow me, link down below. But yeah, let's get in to the empties. So as always, I have my little basket right here filled with goodies. And actually, I'm gonna start with some candles. So I actually finished up three different candles this month. Really proud of myself. Um, so the first one is this three wick candle in Frosted Sugar Cookie. This is from Bath & Body Works. It's really, really pretty. Actually, it might be, yeah, it's a white barn candle. Um, and I saved the lid from this one for a different candle because I just really liked the lid. It was this beautiful like gold color. Um, this candle was amazing. The notes are vanilla frosting, warm brown sugar, and cookie crust. Yeah, I can't really smell it anymore because I took the lid off of it, but yeah, this was a really, really good scent. It burned super great all the way down to like the very bottom. Um, this one I tried to like keep lighting and then that's how I knew that it wouldn't light anymore when they all burnt out. But yeah, this was an amazing candle. It just, I loved it. I will definitely get this again. I'm definitely going to get some more sugar cookie, sugar cookie scents for fall and winter or i know they come out with, with another sugar cookie scent in the winter so i'll probably just pick another one up then but this was an amazing scent the next one that i have is a single wick in pumpkin cupcake so this one burned kind of messily single wicks for me have never really burned that beautifully but this was also before i knew how to like trim the wick on candles like as you can see there's a bunch of like little pieces of the wick in there um because i didn't know that you're supposed to trim the wicks and stuff but yeah, that also might be why there's like a bunch of buildup because I didn't know, you know, you're supposed to burn it for at least a few hours before you before you um, blow it out. But this one, um, I really enjoyed this scent. I thought I didn't like pumpkin cupcake, but actually the more I burnt it, the more I liked it. I find that's like happened with a lot of candles that I finished. Um, the scent notes on this are whipped buttercream, vanilla, pumpkin spice, and freshly baked cupcakes. Yeah, it smells like pumpkin cupcake to me. It smells exactly like the scent notes, and this one was really enjoyable. The last thing in here is actually this 99 cent candle from the Mainstays brand at Walmart, and this is in salted caramel butterscotch. So this is just like a little baby mini candle, and I was actually surprised for how small this was. It really filled up, well, really only my bathroom. When I burned it in my room, I didn't really tell much of a difference, but I burned this one almost every day after I got back from work. And usually I'm only awake for like a few more hours once I get home. I get home at like nine and I try to be asleep by 11. Um, so I really just burned this during my showers, but it was actually really good. It smells like butterscotch, it smells really good. I love this little jar. I can't believe it was only 99 cents. I think I'm gonna pick up some more of these next time I go to Walmart if they have some, because this was just like for 99 cents and to burn it every night, like when I shower, which, okay. I feel like this, I don't care if I burn it weird or if I only burn it for like less than an hour, I really don't care because this was 99 cents, but you know, like the single wicks from Bath & Body Works, I like definitely care about and I want them to burn beautifully. Um, so like, I feel like these are good if I just want to burn this for like an hour and like that's it or even less. Um, so yeah, I think I might pick up a few more of these like I need any more candles, but I liked the idea of like, I didn't have to babysit this one. I didn't have to care about it at all. Um, I never trimmed the wick on it. It's like literally so small. The only thing is I wish it went down a little further, but I guess you can only ask for so much out of 99 cents, but yeah, I actually really, really enjoyed this. So next I have quite a few body care products and you've probably already seen most of these because they are in my current project Use It Up, um, but I'll show you them anyways. So the first thing that I have is the Mary Cherry Cheer Body Lotion. Um, this is, let's see the notes, maraschino cherry, pomegranate cider, and sugared musk. This was from last year um, for the holidays and I'll show you my progress lines, I guess. So I started right here. This was a month, this was a month, and this was a month. So it took me three months to use it. But yeah, I actually really liked this. I definitely won't be getting it again this season, um, this Christmas season, 
but I did like it. The next thing I have is the Fiji Sunshine Guavatini Hand Cream. I did not like this scent. I love the hand creams from Bath & Body Works. I've been really using them, um, especially with the whole coronavirus stuff because I've been washing my hands so much at work. I put this on, like I feel like I need some right now actually. But yeah, I put these on at work like a million times. So I went through it pretty fast, like in a month, but yeah, I did not like Fiji Sunshine, Sunshine Guavatini in the scent. It was not good. And I'm putting on some sweet cinnamon pumpkin right now because my hands are dry. <laughs> so the next thing that I finished is the Love, Love, Love Fragrance Mist. Um, this one was just a little mini one and it's like super old. It was from 2012. So very old, very happy to get this out of my collection. It was a good scent. I definitely enjoyed it. Yeah, um, it like made me feel nostalgic and yeah, it was really, it was really good. I can show you my progress lines too. So when I put it in my project, it was about halfway used up. This was a month, this was a month, and then this was a month. So four months of use on a mini. <laughs> and then the next thing that I have is another mini in Endless Weekend. It's the body lotion. Um, I don't really like this scent to be quite honest. Um, I feel like it's nothing special to me. It smells like lotion smells you know like i don't feel like this has like a really good scent to it in my opinion i'd rather have something like fruity or something like bakery so i'm glad to have this out of my collection because i don't think i'll purchase endless weekend again and then the last thing that i have is the lavender and sandalwood body scrub so this is actually really old too um let me see if i can read where it's from 2017 but I really, really liked this scrub. It's a clay body scrub. So it says it has natural lavender oil, detoxifying white clay, and rich volcanic mineral. I usually don't like lavender, but for this product, it was like really relaxing in the shower for like my um, pamper days when I did some body scrub. So yeah, I really enjoyed this product and Glad to have finished up a body scrub. So the last kind of like body care thing is this vanilla coconut pocket back. And this scent was like really, really good. It's very coconutty. I don't know, it was good for um, finishing up in September. And yeah, so the next thing I have, next category I have is some skincare stuff. So I finished off the Mary Kay Clear Proof Blemish Control Toner. So this is just like a salicylic acid toner. I would put this on kind of like my zits or any flare-ups that I had. And yeah, it worked really well. And then I also have the Mary Kay Botanical Effects Number no. 2 Hydrate. This is just my moisturizer that I use. Um, I feel like it's really good for my dry, sensitive skin. So I loved that. And then I also finished off this ChapStick brand chapstick <laughs> it's literally just like a regular thing of chapstick but i've been finishing off um chapsticks like really really often um because i'm not really wearing lipstick at work at all because i have to wear a mask all day so i've just been using like a bunch of chapsticks so i've been finishing up a lot of these and then i also have the mary Kay time wise eye cream this is like the only eye cream that doesn't give me like milia bumps or um doesn't irritate my eyes i also have some eczema that flares up so this doesn't irritate my eyes so i really really like this and then i have like a random product but it's the degree uh motion sense ultra clear pure clean deodorant um i really like the um clear ones or like the ones that have these dresses on them so they don't show on your clothes um yeah this one just smells generic i don't think it's supposed to have a smell that's why it's just pure clean um but yeah, and then I have two makeup products. So I finished off this Milani Prep Set and Glow Translucent Powder. Um, there is like a little bit left around the edges, but I honestly couldn't get any more out of it. So I'm calling this one finished and they actually don't make this anymore. I'm really sad because I loved this for my dry skin. Usually powder is like too heavy on me and this one was really good. So I'm super sad to see it go, but yeah, I finished it. And then the last thing for my empties for this month was this Ico liquid eyeliner. So this one actually just dried out on me. Um, it was really good at the beginning, like when it was like, you know, freshly opened and stuff, but I used it a few days ago and realized that it was a little too dry. So I'm just calling this one a quits. So that's all my empties for the month of September. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like comment and subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.